Hey everybody, it's Pete. Welcome to a new episode of Stock Trading for Beginners. If you find these videos helpful, definitely click down and uh, subscribe to the channel. And more importantly, if you have any comments or questions about anything we talk about, I'd love to have some feedback. I'd love to have some dialogue back and forth. So whatever this topic happens to be, which today is sector rotation, click down, leave a comment. And if you're struggling with it, we'll go back and forth. We'll see if we can help you. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to find stocks that have the greatest chance of following through, how to find the stocks that you watch, they hear, and then two months later, like, oh my gosh, it's all the way up here. How did I miss that? Why didn't I catch it, right? The process of doing that is called sector rotation. The process is finding stocks and more importantly, finding industry groups that are moving, industry groups that the smart money has attention on, industry groups where the deep pockets have done their research and they're like, those are the stocks that we like at this level because we think it's gonna be at this level at some point in the future to make a profitable trade, maybe even an investment, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the differences between the sector and the industry group, which will help you drill down and find the hotter trades that happen before they happen. <laughs> There's little clues in the stock market. There's little clues in price action. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to find those clues so that you can find some ideas and then learn how to manage those winning trades. Remember, losing trades aren't that big of a deal. We accept risk, right? Everybody knows three to one. We want to make three and risk one. It's not the one that's the problem. It's the three. It's making more on your winning trades. That's the biggest challenge for everybody. If you happen to have that challenge too, that's what, we're going to topic. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about today is getting to the other side and really understanding how to screen and then ultimately how to find those stocks. And it starts out with really, really strict criteria. So I'm going to use a free scanning software. So again, everything I'm going to show you, you can do by yourself um, right from my minimum criteria down to two very important scans. But first, we're going to talk about sectors industry groups, and then how to find the stocks that have the greatest chance of exploding now because the smart money is doing something interesting. All right. So we're going to head on over to this uh, Finviz screening software. So you can see if you go to the homepage of Finviz, this is what it looks like. I just want to walk you through from scratch. Then we're going to go over here to screener, but we're going to do that in a minute. Ultimately, what we want to do is we're going to look at industry groups. So these industry groups are sectors. We start out with the big picture sector, and then we break it down to the individual. So first, we're going to go to performance. Okay. So these are the major sectors in the market. So what we're going to do, let's just go to the last month. We're going to sort this by the month and industry strength. Okay. So industry group, we'll just start out at the top here. We just use the number one. And in the scanner, month means the last 21 days. It doesn't mean January, February, March. It means 21 days prior. So we're going to start out by clicking on communication services. And you can see that brought up 264 stocks within that strongest sector. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper. So we're going to go back over here to screener and we're going to look for communication services. Okay. Screener. And first, we're going to use my template. So my template is very um, specific because I want liquidity and I want opportunity. So that means I want a certain minimum shares traded per month. So average of 30 days and an average true range of what I use is $1.50. So that's liquidity, which means smart money, deep pockets are in the stock on a regular basis, right? Over 30 days at least. And average true range of $1.50 means that it moves from high to low at least $1.50 each day. And you can see that brings up 343 stocks out of all of the stocks on Wall Street. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into communication services, that sector that we just looked at before. And from 343 stocks, it brought it down to 33. So only 33 stocks match that criteria. Now we're going to break it down a little bit deeper. So you can see this is the sector, the broader picture of that sector that's been the strongest over the last 21 trading days. But then you break it down even further and you can see the industry group. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to performance for those same 33 stocks and we're going to sort it by the month again. So now you start to get a feel for which stocks 
have been the strongest in the last 30 days. So you started to pay attention to sector rotation. You could do this on a daily basis. You could do this on a weekly basis. You could do this on a monthly basis. It depends what your particular time frame is. However, once you start to master this and make this a part of your daily habit, you will start to notice ideas prior to these big explosions. And we're gonna just do basic analysis right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna go over here to charts and we're gonna to start to do a little bit of scanning and you can see which stocks have a really clean push and a pause, a push and a pause, right? But you wanna to start to notice when they're down here, right? You wanna to start to notice before that happens. That's the whole point, right? That's the whole point of what we're doing. This is the first picture that we're gonna be looking for. First is looking for the sector then we break it down a little bit more into industry groups. So if we go back to performance and excuse me, go back to the, to here to overview, you have now it broken down by change. Again, let me, let me sort that for you by change. Now you could start to look into the industry group itself. Internet content information seems to be popping up a lot here. So what you now start to do is you dig a little bit deeper into that individual industry groups. So you right click, it brings that up and you see it here. So you click on that now and that breaks it down even further. But now what we wanna do, we wanna apply that same information again, average true range of $1.50, average volume of at least 2 million and that brought it down to 13 stocks. And now we break that down even more. So out of the stocks in that hottest industry group within the hottest sector, now you start to pay attention to which stocks are the strongest that you might be looking at right now. So the money, the smart money has rotated into this sector over the last month. So you click over here on technical analysis and you're gonna get a little bit deeper view of those stocks. But we're gonna go down even further. How do you recognize stocks that happened before they break out, before they start to move higher, before they have these big moves, right? This looks great, but how do you get involved at a moment like this? That's what we're gonna do next, okay? So now we're gonna go back to the screener page and we're gonna use my template again. So again, you could copy my template over 1.5 average true range, over 2 million shares. We're only looking at stocks and I happen to look at stocks over $15. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look right here. This is a kind of cool one, 20 day high. Now we might not have that many today because the market actually happened to have sold off hard yesterday. All right, so we still have 80. So what we're looking at now is stocks over the last 20 days that made a new 20 day high. So you can see it's 60 stocks met that criteria. 60 stocks are now smart money pushing it higher and it made a new high over the last 20 trading days is rotating into that and starting to see buying, okay? So now we're gonna break it down even further. That's nice, but we had some stocks that finished negative. That's not what we're interested in. We wanna see what stocks, where the smart money, where the deep pockets, what we call held the bid. So now we're going to go, which of those stocks were positive on the close? Okay, now we're gonna take it a little bit deeper, which stocks were up at least 1%. Now you start to get a little bit better feel and we're gonna sort that by change again. So now you're starting to see different stocks come up here. I'm starting to very quickly see semiconductor stocks, but you can see it's kind of all over the board now, right? There's not one particular industry group. However, that doesn't mean that you can't find some ideas. So now we go back to the charts. We'll click over here to technical analysis and look at that. That's what you wanna see. You wanna see what we start to call fuel. You wanna see energy candlesticks breaking out for the first time in trading ranges. So that would be interesting. So now we know that this is the auto parts industry and we'd start to look into that a little bit deeper or maybe just look at this stock and a nice breakout here and a nice breakout here. So you're starting to see where stocks and the deep pockets are starting to push it even further. However, now we can take this we're gonna go back in to do another scanner. And again, we're gonna go back to my main criteria, my template, and we're gonna zoom all the way over here to this column on the right, change from the open. Change from the open is the difference between where that stock opened right now and where it closed. And the larger the distance between the open and the close, 
That means that smart money, deep pockets did a lot on that day. They opened it here and pushed it all the way up here. And what I look for on a regular basis is 2%. So it's positive 2% from the open. And this is going to give us a list of stocks that have larger green candles yesterday. So fuel, large green candles, money is rotating and staying in that stock from the open to the close. So we're gonna drill this down a little bit further. We also wanna know if they closed positive on the day. So it's one thing for having a big distance, we want did it also continue to go in that direction during the day. So we're gonna sort that by up on the day. So out of all of the stocks on Wall Street, it broke it down to these 13 stocks. And again, this is the biggest challenge that most traders have is focus. There's too many ideas, too many. We just broke them all the way down to this tiny list, right? But now you go down a little bit further. Now you pay attention to which sectors, communication services, communication services, communication services, communication services. So five of the top 20 stocks are communication services. So now maybe we'll break that down even further. But before we do that, let's see what this means at up 2%. So let's go into the charts. We'll click over here. TA stands for technical analysis. And again, look at that. The same stocks that are now breaking out are popping up in, that, in, in a different list. So now you start to leave clues. Smart money starts to leave clues. Here it is. Now what's interesting here, the stock HUYA, this would have popped up in yesterday's list because it made a new high yesterday over 20 days. So you start to see how you start to go in there and, and it's kind of like a treasure hunt going in looking for new ideas. Okay, 2% for space. So you start to see what the industry is, okay? This is how the smart money leaves clues. And there's another 20 day high in AMAT, but we're gonna make it even better. Now we're gonna break it down even further. We're gonna add what we just talked about. We're gonna add new 20 day highs. So it's gonna be up, it's gonna be up 2%, which means a large green candlestick. And now we're gonna add a new 20 day high and that broke it down to 12. So you see what's going on here now? We'll click over here, we'll click the charts. You just broke all of the stocks on Wall Street all the way down to the top 12 ideas that you could potentially be looking at right now. This is how professional traders, which I hope someday you become, you understand their sectors. Then within those sectors, there's industry groups. And you can see here within these stocks, semiconductors, semiconductors, two out of the 12. So now you break that down and you go and take a look at semiconductor stocks. And what we'll do is that you go over here, uh, excuse me, you go over here and you scroll down and now you look at semiconductors and those will be the only stocks. And those would be the top two trades that you'd be looking for right now. And you can see TSM and NXPI both just broke out. And what's kind of cool about this is that's a free software. That's a free scanning software. You could probably mimic this, but that happens to be the one that I use on a daily basis. Uh, it's kind of fun. When you actually understand the process, when you have a strict step-by-step-by-step -step -step to do every day, what did that take us? 10 minutes? That's all it takes. That's all it takes to understand what to look at. Now, what to look at and getting paid is not the same thing. And that's stuff that we'll talk about in future videos. Hope this helped you. Have a great day, everybody.